Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for our Wednesday Facebook Live. We are super excited to show you the dream big panels that we just got in. Yeah. We've been talking about them. We've been waiting on them, and we got 11 new panels in. We have 11 new ones, yeah. Yeah. We're excited. Yeah. Some of you might have seen these before, um, but we're they're new to us, and we are excited to have them. Yeah. So let's take an overall view look from like kind of a bird's eye view of what we're looking at. And these are the Hoffman Dream Big panels. So these are the flower ones. Yep. And they're about 44, 48 five inches square okay. um, on the size of them. They are 100% cotton, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, and like Diana said, we have 11 different variations here yep. in stock. In stock. We have yeah. a couple more coming in, but right. these are the ones we have right now available. Yeah. Um, and the best part is, is what? They're only sixteen ninety five. Well, there you go. That's the best part. Yeah. They're <laughs> only sixteen ninety five per panel. So um, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you the 11 panels that we have. Mm -hmm. We want to show you the... Um, some threads that kind of coordinate with it. Now we carry a lot of threads and right. every brand has a thread that will match, but we kind of just kind of pick one of each brand type of thing just to try to match it. Um, but just remember if you have a certain brand you like and we didn't show that color and that brand, it'll have one that matches. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yep. Okay. So you want to go ahead and start doing that or? I think we might as well. All right, I'll go grab the okay. first set. So the first one that we are looking at right here, uh, this is Orchid. Okay, and so this panel kind of starts off with this coral orange center, goes off into a light pale pink, and then more into a purple like you're seeing right now. Mm -hmm. um, and so the thread that we decided um, to kind of match with this one would be the glide thread. Yep. Okay, so what do you've got for the center? I went with Buttercup. Okay. Which was, so Buttercup know, is kind of like that yellowish orange that's kind of going on in the center. Yep. And uh, so we'll and, and just so you know, you can write down the names if you want. Or you can, we'll have them in um, attached to each panel um, by tomorrow. They're not attached yet, sorry. Because <laughs> these are so new. We just got them in. We were just so excited. And we were like, okay, maybe we should match threads too, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So anyway, so I went with Buttercup on Glide. And then I decided to do this one right here, which is um, Salmon or Salmon. <laughs> salmon. <laughs> is it really? No Salmon. I know. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. It's been a day. Um, and then the next one I went kind of, it was the Amethyst. And it was just kind of to fill in the purples. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then, and I'll get closer up, and then over there, and the next one was Raven. So, Brooke, are we at the angle? Okay, so I'm going to move over here to an angle, so you might be able to see it a little bit better. And I'll put them down. There we go. There we go. So, it kind of shows how we did. Now, obviously, if you have a pretty variegated, you can use a variegated. If you use a different type of thread, you know, there you, you can use that as well. We were just trying to give an idea. So, as you see without, we're going to change brands throughout. Yeah, there's a bunch of different, I mean, there's a ton of different ways you can take this. We're yeah, just giving you a yeah. couple different options. Yeah, of course. All right, okay. so what was the name of this panel? So, again? this one was Orchid. Orchid. Okay. So pretty. Okay, Corey, show us the next one. Whip to the next one. All right, yeah. let's do it the way Brooke wanted me to. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so right. this one is Tide Pool, which also is the one that is shown behind us. Brooke, if you want to flip back to that. Um, it's the one that we have shown behind us here. And this is one that um, I did a mixture of computerized and freehand designs on it. Um, so it quilted out really, really pretty. And I it actually really did. I only use one color across this whole yeah, thing, Yeah, so too, he so. only used one color on this one. It was just a lighter... Um, what was this like a white or a gray? A, it was actually an aquamarine. It okay. looks it looks white on those darker pieces, but oh, it was actually wow. the same color as the center. Oh yeah, I see yeah. the back now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this he just used one color here, but we're going to show you a variegated that you can use on it. Yep. So our variegated that we have here is called Aqua Waters, and this one is from Signature. Um, again, other the other brands have different variegateds or solids, but this one had all the colors in it, so it's got your. Your lime tint. Yeah, kind of that lime, lime neon tint. And it's then got it goes the lime, it goes into the aquas. White, and then kind of off into the teal yeah. section in different places. So if you're wanting to stick with one thread overall, yeah. um, a variegated is always a beautiful option. Having a darker piece right here really accents these petals. Um, and then having those light mix dark uh, mixtures out here in the lighter pieces gives it a little darker piece too. All right, so there we go. Okay. All right, so that one was Tide Pool. Tide Pool. That's right. And then the I really like how you one. did it in the back there, though. It's really pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it turned out. And then the next one is. All right. What's the next one? This one is Onyx. See, he has these all memorized. I'm like, we I gotta, love these. I'm like, we got to write these on a piece of paper. I am addicted to I, these panels. I need to know what these are called. <laughs> He's like, I got it. You don't I know, need to know all of them. 
Awesome. Um, okay. So this one is Onyx. Awesome. And um, this is one that you will see featured pretty soon mm -hmm. on a YouTube video with Linda Taylor and myself. Oh, we is this did, the one you did? This is one that we did. Um, we did a couple of the petals on here. So the Onyx one is one of my favorites. I love the black and white as well. Cool. Yeah, you do like a lot of black and white stuff. Yeah. So, so what do we got for that one? Um, so I actually picked out a King Tut this time. Okay. Um, and this one is actually called... Oh, I should. I can't read the name. Let's do... I don't even need glasses if I can't read it. Oh, I didn't see it back there. It's on the label on the back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're... It's number 961. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's, um... Once so again, nine... you're going back to look inside the cone. Know, it's on the label on the outside. I know. Canon? I didn't want to pronounce it wrong. He, you see, he caught me. I was just trying to give the number. Oh, well. So if I pronounce it wrong, sorry. Again... What number is it, though? 961. There That's you go. why I was like, That's I can't easy. pronounce that. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop throwing me under the bus, man. I'm not throwing you under the bus. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so it was a really pretty uh, uh, gray variegated. So over here, you'll see that it really, really looks good with the lighter colors. Mm -hmm. Pulls all that. And you can even use it over here in the dark, too. Yeah. So again, if you just want to stick with one color overall, you just want to do one thread. Um, this was a really pretty variegated that we thought went with it well. If not, you could do some solids, white, gray, or maybe a darker gray here. Right, yeah. No, you can move between different things. These are just the first ones that caught our eye. Yeah, and what was that one called again? This, the thread or the panel? The panel. Panel is Onyx. Okay, right, ready well, for the next one? Yeah, ready for the next one. I love this one. This All one's right, super let me pretty. center this one up because I know it's not super centered right now. All right, this one is Atlantic. Atlantic, yeah, it mm -hmm. looks like the Atlantic. Yeah. Fun. All righty, so... <laughs> it looks like the Atlantic. You've been looking at the ocean lately. I do. I want we to are take in a trip. Texas. This is the Gulf. I'm and ready for the vacation. The water is not this blue here. <laughs> You're not lying. <laughs> it's not this blue here. Um, anyway, so I actually went with another variegated Kay. on this one. Um, this was actually a new King Tut that just came out for. Uh, well, we just got them. I don't know how long they've been out, but we just got them in this well, week. Well, they they just they launched them a couple weeks ago, I Did think. They, they okay. have thirty two new colors, so make sure you stay tuned. We'll have another Facebook Live, yeah, um, about all their whole new color line. Yep. Um, but they do have thirty two new ones. And this one's called Windy Day. And if you're looking at the number through the website, it's ten forty six. Okay. Now I really like this one because you can see that it's got the grays. Um, not the grays, but the lighter whites into gray into blue. So it really does pull well, all the It has the a little pigments. bit of a gray tint and some yeah. of the variation of the color. So it kind of yeah. works out throughout it. Yeah, and it really pulls all the pigments, I think, right? Yeah. No, I definitely like it for this panel. Looks up really good. And this was Atlantic. Atlantic. Yay. All right, where are we headed to next? Let's go to Slate. Slate. All right, so describe Slate a little bit. Slate is, well, when you when we first were ordering it, we were ordering it from a catalog. And when I saw it, I thought this was just going to be all gray. Yeah, so did I. So I was like, okay, so it's kind of going to be like the Onyx, but there's not going to be as much black in it, I guess. Yeah. So then when we actually take took it out, it was more of a white to a blue. navy blue. Like, a navy like blue, there yeah. was, I mean, there's gray in there, mm -hmm. but from our picture, it looked all gray when we were ordering it. Which one? This one's called Slate again? This one's called this Slate. It should be like Deep Ocean. Okay, well, you can go work for Hoffman. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Bye. No, I know, but that's what makes me think. It makes me think of yeah, the Yeah, no, Ocean, I could see really. that. Yeah. Okay, so for this one, I actually did choose some signature colors. Just okay. So if you are you really like signature brand, you can get an idea that they do the colors can go as well. Right. Um, so for, for this one right here, I went with Pearl. Because Pearl can go with just about anything. Pearl, Pearl works pull. with a lot of different things. Yeah. Well, I mean, of course, it's a gray, too. And so yeah. gray's the new neutral. It works with almost anything. Um, and if then not anything. The next one I picked was Seascape. Okay. Just to kind of pull some of those tones in right there. And then the next one I went with was Sapphire. So again, you can choose different ones. I don't know if you can see over there. But even up here, it almost has a little bit of a deep teal. Okay, let bring this. Just yeah, let's bring that the side up. up. There you go. So yeah, so that looks really good, but you, even if you wanted to go with something different in there, you could. But I was just pulling the dark one to go with the dark edges. Yeah. Remind me of your, like, piano key things and you, you do. Oh, and then I also, then for a variegated, if you didn't want to choose three colors, you wanted just to do one, I found gray shades. I know that sounds oh, weird. It says gray shades, yeah. but it really has some blue in it. Well, so it, it actually works pull. perfect for this panel because that's the same. These are the colors that actually go throughout this whole panel. Yeah, for the most that, part. Is that gray shades. So, yeah. So, gray shades. Cool. We got that okay? I'm so proud of you. You picked out all these colors on your own. I know, you man. It was felt, like though. you put me under all kinds of stress. Uh, that's what I did today. It was a stressful day. I'm like, are we going to do colors? Yeah, go find them. We have yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah, well, go. you got time. <laughs> all right, so this one was Slate. Next one is? 
this one. Awesome. Which is you know, that's what's nice though is about having so we carry so much thread that we could just walk around mm. the whole store and have so much variety. And I'm trying to straighten it out. All right. So this one is thistle, thistle. Thistle, thistle, thistle. See, I, I knew it. It's <laughs> like with that cannon thread that you picked up. You're just like testing me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, okay, so this one kind of starts off with this mint color, which is very popular right now. Mm -hmm. uh, then it goes off into a purple and then into a pink and then actually more into a magenta on the yeah. way on, on its way out. Mm -hmm. um, and I love the color variation of this one. Some of these you can tell like where the color ring is yeah. for all of them. Mm -hmm. This one, this blends all the way out. A lot of them do, but there are yeah. some that you can see that ring, but this one really blends all the way out. I have to say beautiful. this is like one of my favorites. I do like I mean, this I have one a, lot a lot of favorites, but this one... Because I like these type of colors too. So yeah. what I so did. What you for the center? So I picked pistachio. Okay. Because I really thought that it could really blend and go that out. That works with these for all whites. of these. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would work even out here into s uh, this color where it changes yep. into the mm -hmm. mint to this like lavender lilac. Yep. Um. So we're we're working with the Glide family, right? Oh, so now we're working with Glide. So Kay. sorry. Yeah. So we have some Glides going on here. Okay. So you got pistachio in the center. Mm -hmm. What's on its way out? Uh, periwinkle. Okay. I figured that we could pull all the way around there. Mm-hmm. And then the next one I went with is Iris. <laughs> and look On at that. On its way out, yeah. It's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, so these three really, Ooh. I really had fun picking these colors because they complement each other so well. Yeah, no, this is a pretty one for sure. Yeah. So if you saw, you see these three colors. Okay. All right, so that was Thistle. Again, if you're just coming on, we're showing all of the dream panels that we got in, and we're showing coordinating threads that we just kind of picked to match. Not necessarily the brand, because we carry all the brands. Um, just giving you an idea of what we have, and every brand has colors like this. Yep. All right, you ready? Uh, you don't have the right colors for the next one, by the way. I can see you walking already. <laughs> the next one is Hydrangea. Oh, I did. I have them out of water. Look yeah. at me. So this one is a mixture of blues, purples, indigos, whites, um, a little bit of a gray to, uh, hue, depending on what lighting you've got. So yeah. which one did you go with? So I went with the variegated. Okay. Um, and so we decided to kind of go, this is an Omni variegated. It's a new one. It's yes, it yes. is one of Omni's new ones. It's a and 90, it doesn't really 70, have a name. Yeah. Oh, this one is a, I just put them online, Paisley Purple. Paisley purple. Paisley purple, purple, paisley. Pa paisley purple. <laughs> <laughs> one of them. So, I mean, it, this, so it's 9075, but it's yeah. one Omni Variegate's new one. And I just, you know, I just thought it would be pretty because it would pull the purple out of here. Right. Um, again, you can use different blues if you wanted to, but this one just kind of, if you're looking for something to pop that purple out of here with the, you know, the periwinkle thistle mm -hmm. effect, this one's going to pull the purple out for well, you. Well, definitely. I, I mean, it depends on what color you put with it. It's what's going to pull out of it. Exactly. That's what I really like these. You can take them kind of whatever way you want. Yeah. And here's like a more of a, on the darker. So you can see the purple all in here and see how well that looks with that as well. That's so again, that's just if you just want to stick with one color. Yeah. All the way throughout just one variegated. All right, what's All right. next? Next one is a very popular one because a few people have gotten on our website before we went with those. Yeah, those are the threads you're going okay. with. And we've already started to sell a good amount of these because it's beautiful. It's so pretty. This one is Scarlet. Scarlet. And this one reminds me of Christmas. It looks like a poinsettia. Yes, there you go. Me. I was going to say that. So if I, let it, if I hold it open so we can get a, a full bird's eye view of it, that it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't even know. No words. Yeah. No words. <laughs> no, it's definitely pretty. Uh, you said that's perfect. It looks like a poinsettia. It looks like a poinsettia for this Christmas. This would be a really pretty wall hanging, too. It'd be a pretty wall hanging, but I also saw on Hoffman's website, someone did this as a tree skirt. Oh, and yeah. And put it underneath their tree. And I was like, that is that's so a smart. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just, I mean, obviously, you have to hollow out the center. Yeah. But it would look beautiful on the way out from underneath the tree. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a good idea. I know. Wow. All right. So what do you got for the center? All right. So we went with Glide on this one. Okay. Um, so I chose lemon ice for the center, just to pop that a little bit. We kind of went with a yellow tone, just because of more of a center of a flower, but you could go with a lime tone if you wanted, but I like the lemon ice for that one. Right. Okay. Then for the reds, I went with ruby, um, because it has more of like the burgundy tones to mm -hmm. it, instead of just straight red. I kind of went with the burgundy. Okay. And then, let's go over here. I'm going to pull the back here because it's actually more of a green so it was closer to see easy easier to see not closer to see and then I went with a deeper green here um, and this one was called Jade so what do you think oh, do you think these are three good ones yes they're absolutely they're gorgeous sorry I'm over here counting in my head counting in your head yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm paying attention all right so those are three good ones to go with that let's move yeah this so we along. are this was our ninth one 
I believe this is our ninth one. Nine out of 11 that we have. I'm sorry, no, this was eight. This was eight out of 11 that we have. So this one was Scarlet. The next one that we're going with is Ivory. Ivory. This is a fun one, too. I I just like this one. I yeah. love these beautiful, neutral. Well, it's just simple. It's like it's very very simple. simple. Well, there's yeah. a lot you can do with this quilting-wise. Yeah. This is one that the way Hoffman had it printed out and the way it was designed by their artists that designed this mm -hmm. was you could really make the quilting shine on this one oh, a lot. That's for sure. Because it's a yeah. very muted, neutral color. Mm -hmm. So the way you quilt and the way you put your threads on here yeah. will really open this one up. Yeah. So you, on can, it, it can, you can take it so many different directions. Yeah. Any colors. Any yeah. colors. So if we, we just, I just picked a blender. Okay. Um, I actually went with a variegated again. Um, this is a 9077. For Omni Variegated. For Omni Variegated. Yep. And I just really thought it pulled and every color. And I think color. this is actually one of their new ones too. We got a couple new um, Omni Vs this week. And so I think that's one of their new ones too. Yeah, it doesn't look fun. Yeah, no, it's be. one of their new ones. So it's got, it pulls all the colors if you look in between. So if you just want to, again, go with a variegated. All, although with this one, there's so much you could do, there's like Corey so was saying. There's so much potential with this one. You I mean, could, I mean, you could have light to, the light to really dark, or you could put the dark thread and light thread. I mean, you could really blend this one and really make it sing. Yeah, exactly. With your quilting on it. And not just computerized quilting, freehand quilting, any yeah. type of, Oh, yeah, know. of course. Yeah, I like how with the Hoffman with the pedals, you can, you know where, did you, whether you're doing or freehand or computer. Yeah, you can like, yeah. I'm going to do my design in here. So like you're freehanding a quilt, a, a dream big over there right now. And I just love yeah. how you're putting different designs in each one. Yeah, each one I'm freehanding the, on the cuddle ones that we have. Yep. All right, so that one was ivory. And the next one is I know opal. that one. Oh. oh, okay. You can do the last okay, one. Okay, I do I think know the you last know what the last one, one is. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is opal. Let's center that up a little bit more. So this is a smaller version of the dream bigger, right? Yes, okay. yeah, because the Dream Bigger is the one that comes in this color, too. Yeah, so this is really fun. Um, so didn't what color did you use for the most part on the, the Dream Bigger, the variation? Wasn't on the it Opal? Like a yeah, so like on, this? on this one, um, which is the same one that we have uh, that, that we're getting in the bigger size of this, mm -hmm. um, I actually went with one variegated across the whole thing because I didn't want to have to worry about changing colors when I was doing that 108 by 108. Yeah. I wasn't in, in the mood to even change colors. <laughs> well, it was um, so large, too. It was so a that would big be a lot of changing quilt. colors. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I ended up going with uh, the 9024, which is an Omni variegated. Um, and so uh, this one's called Fairy Floss. I know that one. And so it just really, it has each of these colors is represented in this yeah. panel. So it worked out really well that I could use that variegated all the way across the whole thing and not have to worry about switching threads. And you can really, it really helps it stand out too is when you like double your batting. Well, when you're doing these panels, mm -hmm. what do you recommend on batting or going to the next one? Well, when I was, when I quilted my uh, dream bigger, the 108 by 108, and what I've quilted, like how many of these have I quilted up? Three, a four, lot. a yeah. lot. <laughs> um, I actually do two layers of batting. So it depends on kind of what route you're wanting to take. Um, the dream bigger that I did, I did two layers of the Hobbs Tuscany Supreme, yeah, which is their new batting. I know we talk a lot about it, but I just love it. It's so soft and cuddly well, it's and it's so thick. soft and it really shows that definition of the right. quilting you did. Yeah, so I did two layers of it and it really pops. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um and then for other ones that I've done, I've just done eighty twenty on the bottom and then I did wool on the top. Yeah. To really give it more definition, more pop. So the Hobbs eighty twenty and then the Hobbs wool. Yep. So you could do it that way. You could yep. do two Supremes if you really, really want it to pop. If you really pop. want it to pop. Yeah. If you're gonna do a wall hanging, I recommend doing Linda's Choice yes. on the back. Mm -hmm. Um and then the Hobbs wool on the top. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the reason you recommend the Linda's Choice is because it's it's really it holds. With the scram, it just right. holds it down. Well and it's it was it made for show quilts, wall hangings, different things like that yeah. for art stuff. So if you want it to be more of an artsy thing, definitely get some Linda's Choice. And we sell yeah. that by the yard. You don't have right. to buy the whole roll of it. Well and that's another thing that I, if you wanted to go with that idea for the tree skirt on the scarlet one, uh -huh. um you would do the Linda's Choice on the bottom and the wool on top still even if you're doing a tree skirt because you're so going to fold that up over and over again. Oh, yeah. Wool doesn't have a memory for creases. Uh -huh. So when you open it back up, it's going to be perfectly flat every Exactly. Time. That, yep. that really good, good point there. Good point. All right. All right. So I know the next one. Okay. Well, let me have the dramatic. <laughs> Do pull. the dramatic effect. <laughs> Aurora. Aurora, your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite. So this one is called Aurora. And that's kind of, it's the same theory as the cuddle, 
Yeah, it's the kind of one that we featured last week. We featured yeah. last week, but this is going to be cotton. So why don't you talk about the colors? So what we're starting here in the center of the Aurora is that aquamarine color that's very popular right now. Moving into a light blue, a dark blue, and then off into more of an orchid purple, lavender. Kind of a slight magenta in the, in the background. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what do you got for the center of that one? Um, so for the center of this one, I'm going to go with Treasure Isle. We're, on, we're using Omni Solids on this one. Okay. We're going to do more of the center there. And then for the next one, we're going to go with, it's called Aqua. Okay. It has, has 31 more 69. like a turquoise. Yeah, 3169. Mm -hmm. And that will pull all these. Mm -hmm. And Corey's using these same colors on the Cuddle Dream Big that he's doing. And once we have that done, we'll be publishing pictures. Um, and, and then we can take them over there after we're done with this. Yeah, we can do that. Where it's and at then right the now. 3171 Royalty. Mm -hmm. So those are the three colors that we kind of picked for this one. Yep. <laughs> Brooke's right. reading the comments. She gets a good, she gets a kick out of the comments sometimes. Y'all make her laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so Brooke, is there any questions that we have before we kind of show, we go over and kind of show what he's been working on and then. So, so they are sixteen ninety five. So the question was. So the question is, is how much do they cost? And they're, they are sixteen ninety five. They are online right now. Yeah. So and we currently have 11 of them. Yes. So 11 of the 100% cotton, 44, 45 inch wide. 11 different colors. 11 different colors. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No, we don't have 11 of just one. We have 11 <laughs> different colors, uh, different variations. And they're already selling really fast. So yes. get online if this is something you're interested in and get these ordered. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I will go ahead and grab one of these cameras and let's okay. just go over there and show them what the cuddle one's cool yeah, to, how look it's to look like. Yeah, it's to look like. That's a good idea. Let me And this one's being done freehand. Yes. I decided to put my freehand skills to the test. So don't look too closely. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. So this is the Aurora um, Cuddle One, which we sold out of right after we got done with our Facebook Live. We sure did. Um, we are last getting week. more We're in, We're getting more. Um, but it's just super, super soft. But I'm just doing some freehand feathers on it and um, pebbles in the center. But that's what that is quilting up to be like. And you can see as you kind of pet it and push it, it pushes down the cuddle. But it's just super soft all the way through.